can you do a thing like this? Build up a little boy's hopes and then smash all his dreams to pieces. I said good day! Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And this time we're going to be talking about candy. Candy. Specifically, these are the candy hearts that you see on Valentine's Day, except you won't be seeing it on uh, Valentine's Day of 2019. According uh, to this article and several other ones that are out there. Um... I pulled out a couple. This one here is from the New York Times. There will be no new sweethearts, Candy. But why? Why is that? Well, let's find out here. So two weeks before Valentine's Day, the sweethearts candy shortage is acute. It's cute. It's acute. Many distributors have already sold out. And what candy remains is left over from last year. Yum. Before its manufacturer, the New England confectionery company, or NECO, closed its factory doors. So now, how are we supposed to communicate the important things like so fine and fax me to our loved ones on Valentine's Day? Send them a card. What does be mine even mean if it's not stamped in red vegetable dye on a lump of sugar, corn syrup, dextrose, and glycerin? Oh, yum, that sounds appetizing. Lisa A. Paik, a lawyer in St. Louis said she regularly bought the candy hearts for Valentine's Day, but then came 2019, I have not seen the Neckle Sweethearts in stock anywhere this year. I'm gonna sue! Because she's a lawyer. <laughs> there is a Brock's version on the shelves, but it just isn't the same. This year, Sweethearts fans like Mrs. Paik kind of... I don't know if that... You know, that rhymes with fake, which makes me wonder if this is a real name. <laughs> may be forced to turn to Brock's, the Illinois-based candy company, whose conversation hearts have been a Valentine's Day mainstay for decades. Brock's hearts come in many flavors and are generally a little thinner and softer than sweethearts, and they are laser-printed rather than stamped. Sounds like an improvement, actually. Miss Paik used to keep sweethearts in a glass dish. Oh, yes, I remember this box. Uh, in her kitchen and in a wooden box at her office, she left him for her husband, Bruce. They call me Bruce. Defined at home, like little love notes. Well, there, see? Leave a note. To me, they're sort of a nice combination of being sweet, crunchy, and powdery at the same time. So, I, I can... Okay, never mind. <laughs> But she knows that hers is a contentious opinion. Some people say sweethearts taste chalky or medicinal. I had to think about that. And even Mr. Paik doesn't like them, she said. That also rhymes with rake. Uh, and if you put an S on there, then it's not sake, it's sake. When I was growing up as a kid in elementary school on Valentine's Day, the kids would give each other little boxes to them. Yeah, I kind of remember that, actually. Or if you liked a kid, you'd pick one with the right message and put it on his desk. That's sexist, though. What about her desk? Anyway, candy hearts have a long history, and so does Neko. It was one of the oldest candy companies in the United States. And blah, 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 blah. Based on its own sales and some additional information for partners and distributors, CandyStore.com said it found conversation hearts of all brands. The most popular Valentine's Day candy in 2017 and 2018. Uh, the company's blog has covered Neckle's ups and downs and helped to raise the alarm of the sweetheart shortage. In January, Sweetheart's devotees started emailing the distributor about the candy on a daily and then hour. My goodness, this thing is long. Um, but this is not the first time people have panicked about Neko products. And on and on and on and on until it ends here. Uh, here is another article. Oh, well, that's interesting. They have the same text. Sonoma Index Tribune. Food! Candy Hearts won't be yours this year. Anytime. You are sure. All mine. Smile. Love him. Ah, 
Uh, remember those pastel color candy hearts with sweet messages on them that we all hoped we got for Valentine's Day? Yeah, fax me is a sweet message, I'm sure. If you find any this year, they might be last year's supply. Or they might be older. <laughs> the company that made sweet hearts, conversation hearts for more than 100 years, New England Confectionery Company, or NECO, went out of business last year. The Spangler Candy Company bought Necco's best-known candy brands, Sweethearts and Necco Wafers. But Spangler's new batch of candy hearts won't be available until the 2020 Valentine's season. You know, I haven't found out why they went out of business. It sounds to me like they were doing okay for candy? I, I don't know, but maybe not. Uh, the candy company acquired the brands in September 2018 and did not... <laughs> have the time to produce the conversation hearts for this Valentine's Day according to CNBC that is where I saw the article originally was from CNBC and I was like what and oh well that's a very short uh, thing so yeah see this was short and to the point the New York Times just kind of went on and on and on and on and on so if you really want to get hearts you could always go to Amazon dot com and buy them this bag here is 1050 with classic f flavors of cherry banana wintergreen lemon orange and grape however uh the reviews uh will say otherwise like uh someone put this expiration sticker on the front of the package it's not true they are hard and taste terrible I've seen that comment made a lot. It's like, they're hard as rock. One person said they broke broke their teeth. <laughs> um, this is, yeah, and this is not the only one. I've seen this uh, written down for, ooh, these look good, on, on several of these candy hearts that you can buy. So um, if you do decide to get some online, just buyer beware. Be prepared for disappointment, but if you get yourself something good, then hey, that's a bonus. But there is an alternative to candies if you do want to play it safe, and that is Krispy Kreme. They save the day with Conversation Heart Donuts. I think these actually look good. We have a Krispy Kreme near us. Ooh, that gives me an idea. <laughs> Hopefully, the one that I love won't be watching this video. <laughs> Still upset about the lack of Neko Sweethearts candies this Valentine's Day? Well, leave it to Beaver. <laughs> leave it to Beaver. No, leave it to Krispy Kreme to save our love lives. The donut makers have introduced a line of heart-shaped conversation donuts with pastel frosting and adorable, cute saying, current sayings like BFF, so extra, and DM me. DM me. DM. What the heck is DM? Okay, DM me stands for direct message. Uh, you learn something new every day. Uh, they come in four flavors. Cake batter, chocolate cream, raspberry filled, and strawberry and cream. And none taste like chalk. Well, that's a good thing. Hey, see, maybe it's not such a bad thing. You, you, you got competition out there. Finding the right word can be like, I don't know, hard. Dave Skeena, chief marketing officer for Krispy Kreme, said in a statement. <laughs> Whenever you put officer and Krispy Kreme next to each other, or donut, you always think about police and donuts. But eating a donut is easy. So we printed the right words on the donuts for you, so you can't mess this up. Preach it, Dave. After Neko, which has made Sweethearts for decades, announced its bankruptcy last year, Spangler, which rhymes with Wrangler Jeans, candy company, stepped in to purchase this company. Last month, Spangler announced it wasn't ready to make Conversation Hearts this year due to the Neko sale and subsequent facility upgrades. Not to worry, though, the iconic candy will return in 2020. Anyway, uh, that is it. We, we can end uh, this uh, particular show with this wonderful image of Krispy Kreme. 
because Krispy Kreme is awesome. Have you ever been to uh, the Krispy Kreme factory? Because you can get a free donut if you go on like their tour. And when it comes off the line, oh, it's like a donut that just melts in your mouth like butter. It's, it's, it's like the best. Anyway, Krispy Kreme, it's a thing. Heart-shaped donuts with messages, it's a thing. So <clears throat> let me know what you think about this whole situation. Um, are you just going to pass it up this year as far as the candy hearts? Are you going to go online and uh, take a chance? Uh, roll the bones and see what you get? Uh, or are you going to go with Krispy Kreme? I don't know about you, but I like the Krispy Kreme idea. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this rambling uh, episode. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Happy Valentine's. And by the way, subscribe. I'll love you.